Well, first, I've got to fatten you up. You're much too little to be my hubby, Jessica giggled, pushing Paul away. Normally, she loved his touch and presence, but it just felt so wrong right now. She had been so excited to dress up and play the part of an overly submissive wife. But it must not have been for Paul's sake, she realized. Now trot along. I have to concentrate. Paul was disappointed, but assumed it was all just in the name of play, so he decided not to let his feelings get hurt and smiled back at Jessica. I'll start decorating, he called happily. Jessica, Jessica rolled her eyes with her back turned to him, as if simple little Paul could ever create the magic of a true Christmas home. She hummed to herself as she danced around in the kitchen, preparing a sizable feast. Santa had really outdone himself this year, she thought. The necklace not only looked beautiful, but it felt amazing against her skin. Jessica had never felt happier or more focused in all her life. Time flew by as she slaved in the kitchen and finally finished her preparations. She carried a huge tray of food out to her main room and felt disappointed when she saw Paul. Why did she think she was making all of this for Santa? Paul had worked hard to decorate even Jessica had to admit that it looked cozy and festive so she decided to cut him some slack. She would give him a kiss on the forehead, she decided. Santa wouldn't mind that. Paul gawked again when Jessica made her appearance. Had her form gotten even curvier, or was it just a trick of the eye? <sighs> she swayed her hips in a way he had never seen before as she carried out a tray of food that looked more like a dinner feast than a breakfast. You did a better job than I expected, Paul, Jessica said charitably. Then she placed the tray on her coffee table and gave Paul that planned kiss on the forehead. He tried to hurt, turn his head so their lips could meet, but Jessica pulled away. Naughty boy, those lips are for Santa. Paul's heart sunk. Please, Jessica, he said, his voice low and tired. Not this again. It took us four months to get over that fight. It's not a fight. It's the truth, she said. Simply, it felt so good to get it out. This was why she had been feeling so much conflict over Christmas for so long. She had been fighting what must... She must have known all along. She was being trained to be the new Miss, uh, Mrs. Claus. She clutched her necklace and sighed happily. How could she have been so foolish as to not see it bef before? This is why nobody else understood why she had never been truly happy in any relationships. She had been waiting for Santa. Look, but should I just go? Paul asked in a dejected tone. Um, well, if you want to, Jessica said, tilting her head and putting a finger to her chin. But I'm not sure you why you would want to be alone on Christmas, especially when Santa's almost here. Paul sighed again and stood up. He had no idea how he had put up with this for so long. He wordlessly walked to the door. But when she opened it, but when he opened it, he was met with the sight of a large bearded man dressed in all red. Oh, my boy, Santa boomed. Jessica grasped and ran to the door. Her pussy grew wet when she saw her husband to be. You're on the good list, not the naughty list, so I can't say you deserve this. But I've had my eye on your little treat here for a long time, he said and followed it with a loud, hearty laugh and let himself in. 
Santa, oh, I'm so happy. It's really true. Are you really going to marry me? Jessica exclaimed, bouncing on her heels. Plenty, oh, plenty of generous cleavage jiggling in view through the deep cut in oh, her thin sweater. Well, I gotta take you for a test run first, oh, of course. Why don't you go into the kitchen where you made that oh, nice big oh, Christmas feast? Paul was still in shock. There was a thousand things to oh, process. Need he didn't know where to begin. This m must be s some sick elaborate verse, as it means uh, to embarrass the embarrass him. Was this Jessica's revealing that she had been uh, cheating on him with a guy who was willing to give it uh, give in to her Santa fetish? But what about her new appearance? It was undeb undeniable now that Jessica had gone under one of those. Bimbification transformation transformations that had been causing so much controversy recently. Paul had always loved the way she looked and never wished for her to change. So he felt surprised and guilty in how attracted he felt to her new form. Paul knew he should leave. He knew that staying would cause him nothing but hurt, but he felt bound by a dark curiosity and followed Jessica and the man who claimed to be Santa into the ah, kitchen. Jessica was already ah, bent over with her ah, elbows on the counter and was wiggling her ass for the old man. Oh, oh, oh my god.